I, I feel dirtier than I did before. I had a shower this morning. What are you doing to me? Finally back inside, where I began to suspect they weren't taking it seriously. <laughs> Why are you scared? Just water. You're spitting on me. <laughs> Just water. <laughs> this is obviously some kind of that joke. He's not, he's not, he's he is. <laughs> Let's put he is. It is water. Yes, yeah. from his mouth. Mm. Yeah, good. How long before I like girls? When you know when they work on you, mm. seeing things that it is working on you, mm. then you see it, you, your heart, it okay. is changed. Whew. Thank you for your help. My privilege, um, And I'll just uh, wait and see what happens, eh? Okay. All right. Cheers. Thank you, everyone. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Great, so I've been beaten with a chicken, spat out a few times, and um, I might start liking girls soon. Who knows? Could happen any time. Just have to wait and see, won't we? Unsurprisingly, as I left, I got the feeling this treatment might not work. But it did get me thinking about why Uganda is so homophobic. Ugandans claim being gay is somehow un-African and not natural to their society. A society which, according to an academic we spoke to, is very, very macho and feels threatened if your sexuality doesn't conform. And the more the gay community has come out, the more violent their reaction against them has been. But ironically, in the past, most African cultures tolerated homosexuality and the rampant homophobia seen today is a relatively recent phenomenon. In Western countries, it was the young who led the fight against homophobia. So is that where the hope lies in Uganda? I organised a chat at a local high school to find out. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Scott. Hi. What are your views on homosexuality, on gay people? We don't support gay gayism in Africa. We think it's really evil because Africans, we really promote, we want our culture, we maintain it. We want to promote the African culture. Most of our youth in Uganda today have coped up with the Western culture, which is not good at all. That's where they get the idea to be gay. Yes. So for Rihanna, <laughs> like this video of DMO. Okay, young girls, they like that video because they see two girls, they were kissing, doing their shit there, mm. so they copy it. So if they see Rihanna kissing a girl in the video for Tiamo, some people will copy that. Yeah. Yeah. But where do you get your views from? You know what you think about homosexualities. Where, do you, where does that come from? I think the pastor yeah. it teaches about morals. You, know? you shouldn't go against what maybe the Bible says or what you're not supposed to do. So. You all get your views from uh, different pastors, ministers? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 And yes. parents? Yeah. Yes. We also get our views like from the teachers. And it teaches that homosexuality is wrong. It's so wrong. I it's think... wrong? No. Okay. Um, in the UK and in America, gay people have rights. Uh, they can get married. They can live together. What do you think about that? Sodom and Gomorrah were punished and Babylon was destroyed because of gay, right? Now, I believe USA and UK, maybe soon they'll be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's very dangerous to be gay here, isn't it? I just feel really depressed now. Really, really the most depressed I've felt since I've been here. Because they're the younger generation, I really thought that they would have a different view, and they really don't. And it's a shame, because they're really nice, and it... Oh. 
depressing. It seemed to me the young kids think like this because as soon as they're old enough to learn, they're fed an unending diet of anti-gay propaganda. And one of the main drivers of this anti-gay propaganda is the church, which since the time of the first missionaries has been preaching the idea that homosexuality is an abomination and an evil. Recently, this preaching is intensified as influence and money from American evangelists has energized Ugandan pastors in their crusade to victimize and punish the gay community. No to Sodomy! If you go down with homosexuality, with sin, and go to hell, you perish, you fail! One of the most active is Solomon Marley who claims he was first to openly come out against gays. Hello. Yes. Pastor Marley, how are you? Okay. Um, can we go outside? It's okay. Have a chat on your balcony. Okay. Let's do it. OK. <laughs> Pastor Marley, can you explain to me what is so bad about being homosexual? What they're doing is unethical. What they're doing is a problem. What they're doing is, health-wise, a hazard. It's, 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 it's morally incomprehensible and uh, abominable. Pedophiles target young people, okay? That is minors. Gays, some of them consent, but some of them go for the young people. Gay people are as bad as pedophiles. Of course. Of course. They claim to love, yet they cause hurt. You don't believe that people can love each other of the same sex? You see... Not possible. It is beyond human imagination that people of the same kind can love each other. They cannot. It was at this point he offered a challenge I couldn't refuse. I just want, to, I just want one homosexual, brilliant enough, in Britain or America or the whole world to come and face me. We face off each other and he tells me when he started realising that he was actually gay. Right. Because they are lying. I believe uh -huh. that I was born gay. Are you a gay? You are gay. Since? Since as far as I can remember. Now, tell me this. Have you ever had any woman? No. How many men have you had? How many men? Mm. Oh, I couldn't count. Many? Oh, yeah. You've had many. many. More than 10? Yeah. More than 20? Yeah. 50? Yeah. So you don't love? Yeah. I haven't had as many as I told you, by the way. Yeah, go on. You, you don't love? I do love. So it's ganging? I do love. It's reckless. It's not like I've been philandering myself everywhere and carousing. One comes, as you put another it. comes, no, another comes. No, it's not like that. Do you see any it's not like that. Scott, Straight relationships look, 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 work out. Gay just, relationships just, work out. Or they don't. You put it into your heart, into your mind that I think, I think, I think, and now you believe it. You've got to say that to deceive other people because you want so many people to come to your ranks. <laughs> I don't want anyone to come to my ranks. No, no, no. I'm no, not no, recruiting no. people. It's just the way I am. Look, don't fool the world. I'm not and fooling the world. And don't fool Ugandans. Oh, my God. My brother, my son. Oh, my God. Okay? Okay? You were not born again. Okay. You were born a man yes, with I a was. penis. Yes, that's right. Okay? Uh -huh. And with ananas. Yes, the I believe so. The ananas was for defecation <sighs> and the penis was for urination. Okay, yeah, we've been And, of this. course... Can we agree to disagree on this? You cannot convince me. I, I, that's clear. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's been, uh, it's been good to have this, this healthy debate with you today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, you're a homosexual. We've met. Yeah. Have I killed you? Not yet, no. Are eh? you going to now? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> let me tell you. Let, let, let me tell you this, OK? I was saying that... Uh... I actually quite enjoy my banter with him. It's just, it's like fencing in a way. Um, but the thing is, no matter how hard you try to tell him that I haven't been recruited, he's not having any of it. And he truly, truly believes all that stuff he was just saying, which is really dangerous. Behind the laugh, it's just like, oh my God, you are a scary, scary man. <laughs>